My name is Florin. My name is Joseph. Uh, because of the way life was in Czech, when I was six years old, my parents decided to move to England. We moved to Kent and we lived there for a couple of years and then we just wanted to try something new so we moved to Oldham and I've been in Oldham for the past five or six years now I moved in Manchester I came from Romania and I moved in Manchester in 2006 somewhere in February and I know that we lived there for about one year and uh, then we decided to move to Oldham because it was closer to my mom's job and like it was a better area than the one we were staying in and we just decided to move here because we there were like better schools around here and a better area. What I like about all of them is like like some good areas from here. Like I met I met some real nice people in Oldham. The thing I like about Oldham is that it's diverse and it's also peaceful compared to other places I've been to. It's been pretty welcoming. I had some like people making a fuss about the way I talk, like not the language. Like at a tram stop, there was like this dude playing like he was he he was like started like shouting and like making a fuss about me talking Czech, but he thought I was talking Polish, so he, he had the whole language wrong. And he was just making a fuss um, to me and to my mom, and we just ignored it. And the same thing happened today in home bargains, like in this shop. We were talking. Check and another person thought we were talking Polish, even though we were not. And they were just making a fuss. But yeah, but pretty much it's been pretty welcoming. I came here for, for a better life and a better education than my home country. And the life that we have here is like, it's pretty good. The schools, the education, like at first I had a really good experience, but then it was turning into bad because of some people at my school. But the school supported me and helped helped me to go through that stuff and it turned like into a bad experience. Yeah, I think bullying is like, like bullying in schools yeah. is a like big part with like to do with people who are not from England. Like you get judged a lot. Like I when I went to school didn't even think about people judging me for uh, my language. I just came in and then I, this new thing like of judgment just disappeared and I was confused. Is that the same for you that people just judged you because you weren't speaking? Uh, not not really because like I, I picked up the language very fast. But, like people were mostly like judging me because I like I, I was from Romania and I don't know people just like used to pick on me about for that. So back in Romania, like our life used to be like pretty simple, doing the same routine every day, like going to school, coming home, like just doing stuff. But when we moved to Oldham, we, we could do like more stuff. For example, I started going to Mado and that gave me lots of experiences. Like the school system was different and better, and uh, it's better here than in Romania. I like England and Oldham more because uh, since the time I've moved to Oldham, I have learned so many new things I didn't learn in my original country or in the other places I've been. Because as I said before, Oldham is very diverse and I've learned so much things of different cultures and just I learned a lot of new things which I really like and appreciate. Hi, my name is Alexander Vasile. I'm the community outreach worker. I'm working with Olden Council for three years now. I'm uh, in UK for three and a half years uh, and I'm coming from, uh, from Romania. All them had to do with the fact that part of my family, but um, they were already here. And the moment we decided to move to UK, uh, Waldem was the first choice for for us, and we don't regret it at the moment. We're glad we did. Different from Romania, uh, in Oldham, uh, in UK, we uh, we can see a. Uh, Different a difference in uh, the way uh, the way of living, uh, uh, difference in culture, difference in education. Basically, um, I can say that uh, we have two very different uh, culture, two very different uh, society. Where uh, Romania developed uh, on a different system uh, along the way. Uh, UK uh, developed its very own system which is very different from uh, everything that we can see in Europe at the, at the moment. 
most of the times uh, uh, people uh, that I came in contact with, uh, Romanian families uh, especially, um, they will have to deal with this difference uh, in terms of, uh, of education, uh, in terms of uh, uh, council services provided for the, uh, for, the, for, for the borough, for the families living in, uh, in Oldham. Uh, and that's the first thing that I'll try to make them understand that there is a difference between what they had back in Romania and what they have now in, uh, in UK. First thing, they'll have to understand it and then they'll be able to follow it up because most of them when, uh, when they're coming up uh, to the drop-in sessions um, they will say, look, um, in terms of education, my children are registered with this school which is too far away and I want to take them to a school which is closer but to home. And that's the moment when I'll start explaining them the system, what they'll have to do, the law uh, and what they'll have to understand. And by the end of the day, that they'll have to adapt, understand, adapt and get on, get on with, their, uh, with their lives according to what we have here in UK. Since I came to, uh, to UK, since I came to, to Oldham three and a half years ago, uh, I can say that uh, I did felt some negativity towards me, um, considering the fact that I'm a new arrival. I'm a person who's coming uh, from another country um, other than uh, than uh, than UK. Um, the thing with me it's um, that um, I've adapted to this type of situation and I know how to deal with it because um, ever since I was a child back in Romania, I was uh, I was being targeted because on, on the simple fact that I'm a Roma. Uh, I'm an ethnic Roma, I'm an Armenian citizen, but also as a, uh, as a um, ethnic background, I'm, um, um, I'm a Roma. And I've been targeted, uh, I felt it all along the way back in Romania, but I managed to deal with everything, I know how to get on with everything, I know how to change people, uh, people's uh, perspectives, uh, upon me, upon the Roma community in general and to me it's very easy to deal with it but there are other person who might not be might not be able to deal with this simple fact uh, which is part of our lives which is part of everyone uh, we're all tending to make differences uh, between ourselves uh, depending on the uh, color of the hair color of the eyes a uh, uh, color of the skin uh, uh, taller short shorter thinner uh, uh, thicker uh, and so on um, we do this uh, uh, every day but we'll have to understand that um, when it comes to different nationality and uh, especially when there is a problem with a certain minority, when that minority is targeted, things are very complicated. Sometimes people um, would start to develop some sort of, uh, of a fear, a fear of uh, being a Roma, fear of uh, being targeted, uh, fear of um, just getting there, trying to access uh, a service and um, the fear that he might be rejected on the simple fact that he's, he's, a, uh, he's a, or she is a, she is a Roma. Um, that kind of situation, um, I saw it back in Romania and uh, I've also seen it here in UK and this kind of situation would always hold people back from adapting, evolving and uh, trying to make a better life for them or for their families because that's the only reason people are coming in UK or people are migrating in any other countries because they're, they're trying to make a better living for themselves and their families.